When I say zero, I really mean it. Because you have no idea what you're missing. You have no idea how vast this moment is, how complete it is, that here, right now, no matter where you are, no matter what is going on in the utter world, you can tap into that bad vastness of being sitting on your couch, in your living room, being anywhere in the world, and dive into the totality of the presence of this moment and the vastness and drinking from the nectar of life. And completely being indifferent to what comes and what goes. But this is an addiction that human mind, humans are so addicted, we're so addicted to the drama, we're so addicted to what comes and goes. We're to we're so addicted to the next election. We're so addicted to the next story that's going to come, the next era that's going to come. I need to know. I need to know what's going to happen. I need to put voice my opinion into it. I need to make a change. It's such an investment because this investment, it relates to suffering and you're just not ready to let go of your suffering. You're, you're addicted to it. Unless you come to this point in your life, you recognize that you literally have an addiction to suffering. There's nothing I can do for you. Because you're not let, ready to let it go. You grew up with it all your life. You're so familiar with it. It's part of your life. That what's going to happen if I'm not suffering, I can't imagine life without suffering. Unconsciously. Yet, we come together. You enter into this unified field of oneness, unified field of presence, of love. It's so vast. It's enormously vast. It's so powerful that your mind has to submit that there is no room here for your mind to do any of its stuff. So what happens is when the moment you come to this, you catch this field, it contract, you get contracted. It overwhelms your mind. And the presence is so powerful of this field that is created that you catch it, you get contracted. It's just simply, if you're in a room with three other people who have a cold or a flu and they're all coughing and sneezing, so you're going to catch, you get a, you're going to contract their 
cold. Same thing, the power of silence is so powerful. It's beyond anything else because it's the very truth. It's the fabric of who you are, the presence, the presence. It's Her Majesty, the Supreme Being. It's the big kahuna. This is the boss, the boss of all bosses. So when you come in touch with that, there is no mind. The mind just submits. So what happens is the moment you touch it, you fall back into this, to yourself. You come back to this deep place of silence and bliss. And you fall back. It's like, wow, it slows down and you go, wow. And peace takes over. Silence takes over. Love takes over. Because it's, it's the very fabric of your own being. the presence, the vastness of the presence, is in that moment that you pull back, in that moment that you come in touch with it, in that moment that there's an opening, a little hole opens up, and the light pierces through and it touches and you recognize that. So even though a part of you, the mind, is deeply invested into the suffering because it's really into what comes and goes, but this other part of you cannot resist. When it comes across the power, it comes ar across silence. The mind will come and do its thing, you know, it will do its jumping jacks. But what I'm trying to do is what I'm trying to point out to you is what you're looking for, what you're yearning for is here within your own self right now in this moment. All you have to do is kind of kick back, just settle in it, chill out, and disengage from the mind.